Hello everybody, this is SB, also known as Mr. Google, and welcome back to my latest how-to. Today I wanted to share something cool. It's about how to share your games with friends and family. Please beware, there are some things you have to look out for, but I will get back to that later on in the tutorial. So I will do a quick tutorial about how to do this. It is totally free and it's accessible for anyone with Steam. So. Let's get started. For those who want to share their games with their friends, for example, these are my games. And these are games of my friend, which is currently not online. So I am able to play his game, Rome Total War, as long as he is not online. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is you have to go to the Steam community and go to the family sharing group. And click the join button over here. After you have done that, invite your friends and make sure they are also in the same Steam group. And after that, you have to make sure they accepted the family sharing group in their Steam. You can check that at the, at the same page as well. Links will be in the description. And then you go to settings from Steam. You go to account. First, please make sure your Steam Guard is on. That's uh, required. Then you go to family and you click this button, authorize this computer. And it should list your PC over there. If not, you go to manage and it will show something like this with your PC name over there. You can give it your own name and etc. Well, let's go to settings again. After that, I've done it a while ago, uh, joining the Steam group. so. I already have it over here. You go to account and then you click the little button over here, view account details. And then you have to make sure your game library sharing access comp is over here. So it wasn't clear for me. I I did the whole thing to share my games and it wasn't working with my friend, but that was because my friend didn't have it oh, have the license or subscription yet. So <laughs> please uh, make sure you have that. It can take a few days, uh, nobody knows how long, I couldn't find that anywhere, so if you can tell me, please let me know down below. But let's get back to the tutorial. Okay, so by this time you have the Steam Guard on, you have authorized this computer, and here comes the tricky part, which was not clear for me in the Steam FAQ. I will place a link about the frequently asked questions and so on in the description as well, for those who want to check it out. And please, before continuing, please bear in mind if you share your own games in your library with a friend or family, it's basically meant for family, but it's also for friends. If the friend or family is using hacks or cheats or whatever on your game, when you are not playing, you can lose your game. Or you can get a VHC ban, something like that. Please bear in mind, keep an eye out for those who you are sharing your account with. So let's proceed to the next part. Um, you'll have to change the user, you log out and then you log in with your friends or family's account. They can either do it themselves when opening up their PC and you press your password locally or if you're doing it remotely, but that's what I was doing because my friends live very far and so does some of my family, you can share your Steam account and password. So please a disclaimer again, please take a note with the ones you are sharing with, please look out for someone trying to steal stuff etc etc. So after that you log in with your friends account and you should see their games over here but nothing here yet. So again you go to Steam, you go to settings, you go to account, make sure Steam Guard is on, to family and you authorize his computer. It might, before logging in as a whole with his Steam account, give a warning you have to press in a code which was sent with an email. So your friend or family, where you're sharing account accounts with, has to give a five letter or word specific code before logging in. Please bear in mind, so you both have to be available when setting this up. After you've done that, you can authorize this computer and it's all done for now. Then you, your friend or family has to do the same thing. He has to log in with your account if it's not done locally and he has to authorize your account. 
after that when you both log in back to your own computer it might give a warning uh, stating something like uh, you have logged in from a different location over there and over there was this you then you should click yes afterwards you can both change your password if you want to uh, so that should not be a problem and make sure it's in the authorized authorized accounts after that you go to manage other accounts and you should list both of the PCs should be listed over here and you can share it with up to five people or five accounts sorry and so for now for example what I can do is um, I can play all of my friends games which cost uh, quite some uh, money to get them yourself and as long as he is not using his library I can play all of his games for free and once the original owner logs into his uh, library and plays any other game it doesn't have to be the same game you get about five minutes to save your game or whatever and you have to close the game so it is not optimal you can cannot play both uh, different games at the same time but it is something I am able to test all of his games if I want to and if I yeah decide to buy something I it states buy over here when he's using his library and I want to play I have to press the buy button so as always guys thank you for watching I hope this helped you uh, please let me know what you think about the steam family sharing and as always if you have any more questions please leave a question down below in the comments or just a thank you would be nice or a subscribe or uh, just a like so have a good day and goodbye